the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. The teams then, Manchester against Napoli. I'm Peter Drury, and joining me here, our expert, Jim Beglin. Well, thanks for that, Peter. I'm uh, more than ready to get going here. Lineups for the game. Gets things running. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Theo Walcott warrants a mention. Uh, he's shown a, an extra facet to his game by playing through the middle. And while he has certainly um, added a, a composure to his finishing, space is more readily found on the wing. And I think that's where he's still most effective. That's the message there. Manchester were impressive in their last outing and brilliantly orchestrated by the manager. He's a manager who understands how important the bench can be and the timing of substitutions. If needed, he's quick to make changes and I just think he has more than a plan B. Well played, he saw that coming. And it's Martial. Oh, good interception. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Yeah, the communication lines were working really well, but the supply line just had a bit of a blockage. Spoon forward. Has he picked him out? Lovely bit of skill. Martial delivers. Gonna make this theirs. Juan Mata with the ball through. Great leap! No, we couldn't get the to fight. Have to change his ways, or this referee could soon change his status. Good stop. That wasn't easy. Oh, he made that look really easy, Peter, but I can assure you that wasn't a, a routine save. He had to be very switched on there. Now it's Martial. Martial drills one in. Really well taken goal. And they are disappearing out of sight. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it and... Juan Mata has the route one option. He's away! 
It's come loose. Oh, great save. And that's got paid to a promising move. A real chance to break. And he's on his way. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Now it's one matter. Great effort, beautifully taken. He put on quite a show there. He's been a joy to watch, and, and that gets it away. And it's half-time here. So your views on the first half? Napoli suffered a bit of a shock at being hit hard and fast with, with two goals, and they still seem to be feeling the effects. They now need a, a motivational team talk that can help restore a little reassurance. is back on the way look before they might get too carried away with thoughts of getting back into the game they can't afford to slip up and concede another the next goal becomes crucial sit well who's going to make this theirs and he's made certain that won't get through plays it out to the wing Looks to slip it through. Lofted into the middle. And it's in the back of the net! The second half off to a spectacular start. <laughs> However, they tried to... ...position, and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position, isn't this, that? his rangefinder before the next one. Looks to dink one in. Chance to shoot! And he's found the net! Well, we're all back to square one, but I hope this game opens up from here. It looks as if it could happen. Well, that defence just wasn't expecting their midfield to mess up then, so... When they did, they were caught completely cold by such a swift breakaway. Look, they haven't had that many shooting opportunities against this defence, but along with some patience now, they need to find... Steered out wide. Gets up to head it! So nearly came off for him. Well, in all honesty, he's tormented that defence. They just can't handle him. Looks to slip it through. Now the cross. Firmly met. Suchi. So what now? Chance! Off the post! Up to meet it! Oh, it's gone in! They've done it! It was coming! They have their reward! Just so calm under pressure. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a eel the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of, now you've got him, now you don't. Brilliant. Made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more.
suspect there'll have been a few nails chewed off during that attack. How they survived, I'm not quite so sure. But their lead is intact, and that's all that matters. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Some of them aren't happy with that challenge, and they're getting involved. Steady. Denied by a great piece of goalkeeping. Well, I thought his starting position was good, and that helped the keeper to judge the flight of the ball and, and deal with it well. Diego Capel. Now the pass. Swept in. Not this time. Utter waste. Oh, that's great stuff from him. It's tremendous play on his part, Peter, and he's proving to be a, a right handful through. It's long and forward. Hits it first time! Rettier. That's one way to make your presence felt. I would agree. Uh, it's tremendous play. He's full of belief and imagination and hard to contain. Napoli just have to run down the clock. And there goes the final whistle. Well, that's bounce back ability, responding superbly to come from behind, shrugging off setbacks along the way, and determinedly getting there in the end. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Listen, there was a real concentration on wider attacking outlets, and they got their tactics spot on. They found a vulnerability and played on it to the full. It was clever and superbly executed. And, you know, it was a real risk and reward approach that gave them the crucial advantage. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening.